In this short clip, I'd like to show you the unique disassembly features of the left-hand Race Master holster. A lot of thought and effort went into trying to design this holster so that we would be able to use the same insert block assembly as we do for the right-hand holsters. This makes it possible for us to offer the full variety of some 22 or 23 different models that we have currently for the Race Master holster. And to achieve this on the left-hand holster using the same insert, we had to come up with a special uh, tension knob screw, and this works very differently from the right-hand uh, model. And I'd like to show you here how to disassemble it, as this question does come up from many left-hand customers. Firstly, it's a lot easier to do if you first remove the holster body from the hanger. So you simply loosen that frontal screw over there and slide the body assembly off the hanger. Now, the two-piece tension screw is held in place with a very small one millimeter, it's a three millimeter uh, headless M3 screw, which requires a one millimeter hex key to unlock it. So you insert that key in there and you back that little key. You can take that screw all the way out, but careful you don't lose it. It's pretty small. Then you'll need a flathead screwdriver from the inside to turn this knob so that the head of the tension screw comes off. And again, this is very different from the right-hand mechanism, which is a one-piece screw. Over here, we use a two-piece screw system. Once you've done that, using your flathead screwdriver, you can back the tension screw all the way out and remove it from the insert. And there you see the two-piece uh, tension screw system. Now, once that's done, the rest of the disassembly of your insert block is pretty much the same as you would uh, with a right-hand holster. Remove the two screws from the back and then slide your insert all the way out. So that's how the mechanism works on the left-hand holster. And let me show you that in reverse as we assemble it. You first insert your pressure plate. Make sure it's correctly positioned with the dot visible and at the top. Insert that into your aluminum housing. You take your screw, make sure the spring is mounted on it. It goes through the aluminum plate and into the thread on the opposite side. Now you can insert the M4 screws now, or you can do that last, it doesn't much matter. Use your flathead screwdriver to turn until that screw is all the way through and easily visible on the outer side of the holster. Now you'll see that there is a small hole machined into these threads. And this is to allow more room for that very small M3 screw to lock up. So you do want to rotate the head screw, the cap, all the way on until it reaches the end of its, of its range, but make sure that the little M3 hole lines up with that indent so that when you take the locking screw and you turn it in, it enters into that hole and ensures that it prevents the head from rotating as you turn it. If you don't line up correctly, you'll see the screw will be too long and it will stick out. But if it is lined correctly, it'll go all the way in. And now your tension knob works very much the same as it does on the right-hand version, but in reverse to increase the tension you'll drive the screw out, and to decrease the tension, you'll drive it in. So close to the inward position, the holster will be pretty much as loose as it's going to get, and you'll see that it works very much in the same way as the right-hand holster does. And that's how you disassemble and assemble the left-hand Racemaster holster. I'm Saul Kirsch of Double Alpha Academy, wishing you all excellent shooting.